Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford, Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport. We're going to talk about the Big Ben trim. So this is our complete guide videos. What that means is we're going to talk about all the standard equipment that's included in on the, on the Big Ben trim, as well as the different packages available and standalone options in this one video. So it is a very thorough video. We call it the complete guide for a reason. So if you want to move around this video, there's timestamps down below. Use those for different parts of the video moving around uh, there easily to be able to use this as your resource um, for if you're looking to get maybe order or looking at a dealer for a 2023 Ford Bronco Sport and you're wanting to know if the Big Ben trim is going to work for you. So hopefully this uh, video does help you out for that. Uh, also, don't forget we do, if you are struggling with a dealership out there, to find a good dealership that will honor uh, you know, MSRP, MSRP pricing and uh, price protection as well as lock in any rates on an ordered vehicle. Law MacArthur can help you out if you're finding and struggling to find a dealer. Uh, we'll have more information at the end of the video, but we do free shipping uh, for uh, as a kind of a special for all of our YouTube viewers. So uh, definitely check that out timestamps down below for that as well and we can kind of help you out with that uh, and don't forget if you're not subscribed to the youtube channel hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over to the channel hit the notification bell that way you can get notified the next time another video upload to youtube channel so let's jump in we're going to first talk about some of the mechanical features on the big on the big bend tram of the bronco sport so let's talk about some mechanical features first and i am going to be using a lot of the information from the build and price on ford's website from last year not a lot of differences between 22 and 23 not a new redesign or a refresh or anything they'll probably happen for uh, next year uh, so we're going to use uh, some of that information so to do that let's go ahead and use uh, share my screen here so you can see that uh, so go to ford.com uh, right here and then we're going to hit that crossover suvs and crossovers and go to the bronco sport build and price here uh, so that way, if you want to do this yourself, you can. Um, prices will probably be different from 22 versus 23, but a lot of the other information will be a, pretty similar in, in, this, in the same. We'll go over the differences in this video. But for the Big Ben trim, uh, there is a new package that's available. But other than that, a lot of the same features uh, that's available here. So we're going to hit that start your build there. And we're going to, it takes a little while, it'll refresh. There we go. We're going to jump in. We won't get into the colors yet. We'll get into that when we talk about exterior. But I'm going to go down here to the powertrains as we talk about uh, the features when it comes to the um, the mechanical features here. So these are standard and 4x4. So you can see there, uh, two-wheel drive is not available, just like last year. So all 4x4s for these. Uh, you do, they will all come standard. And the only engine available is the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with that auto start stop technology so auto start stop means that if you go to stoplight stop sign press that brake it's going to shut the vehicle off you let go of the brake and it's going to turn it back on you should be able to deactivate that on any ends of cycle um, by pressing the little a with a circle around it i'm not sure where it's located on the the bronco sport on the top of my head but uh, you'll be able to do that also eight speed automatic transmission will also be standard uh with these so as you can see I uh, kind of seen a little bit of image of that right there, transmission and everything there. Uh, we'll have a train management system with five GOAT modes for the Big Ben trim. So you have a normal mode, you have an eco mode, you'll have a sport mode, a slippery mode, and a sand mode. So it depends on what mode you're going to, it'll change that how it shifts, how the uh, throttle response is, and different things in the vehicle to give you that, that, that better ride and quality, especially like in slippery mode, it's going to have a little bit a uh, gentler start and such. Uh, so you'd really have to press the gas a little bit harder than you would in a normal mode to have it take off. So that way, if it's raining and such, you're, you know, there's any kind of slippage and that kind of thing uh, will will help, you know, gear that down a little bit or slow it down, I should say. So you have a little better traction there. So uh, you have those train management systems. Uh, you also have a standard duty suspension. And we the reason we mentioned standard duty is because when you go up to like the Badlands, there will be a, a different suspension system for the Badlands edition. So this is the standard suspension on the Bronco Sport. Uh, it does have front and rear stabilizer bar. Also electric parking brake. Uh, that will include the auto hold, which means it'll hold the brake if you're at a stoplight. Take your foot off the brake if you press that auto hold button. You do have the electronic brake assist, uh, electronic traction control as well, and you have the E-Pass, that electric power assist steering that it'll have. So what that means is slower speed. You're going to be able to turn that steering wheel a little bit easier, getting in those parking spaces on the highway, stiffen it up so that way that wind doesn't push you from side to side. Uh, it will also have hill start assist as standard equipment too, so if you're on that hill, it won't drift back. It'll allow you to be able to start and go from the brake to the gas uh, pretty easily uh, when you're on that hill. 
Now, talking about some safety features. So it's all the mechanical features. First safety features, we do have advanced track with roll stability control. So the whole goal on that is to keep you on your intended path. Series of brakes around the vehicle that help out uh, so that it, it gives you the power where you need it uh, to be able to keep you on your intended path. Uh, which is really nice and roll stability control so that hopefully you won't roll over in those situations as well you will get sos post crash alert system that honks the horns flashes the lights if you're in an accident off the side of the road also 911 assist so that calls 911 directly if you have your your bluetooth enabled phone connected to the system which we'll talk about a little bit later and what system that is you also get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking so several fundamentals within that you do have an alert system a forward collision warning you have a brake support as well so if there's someone going much slower than you and you're going to maybe hit them it lets you know gives you those warnings a message on the dash that you need this that you need to hit your brake and it even preloads those brakes so that when you're ready to hit it you'll stop even quicker um, you also have post collision braking too so if you are in an accident maybe you're unconscious and can't put it in the park or you forget to put it in park and um, it will help break the vehicle so you don't wander over and get in a more severe accident you also get your lane keeping system so what's great about that is you do have an, an aid system an alert system and uh, for a, a driver alert so if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often it's going to alert you and let you know that the lane keeping aid system and alert system lets you know that if you're going to leave your lane um, then you're going to vibrate the steering wheel it's going to alert you and let you know that but then also in the aid system get over to the line it'll bring you back in um, and then also you do have the perimeter alarm and you have that perimeter alarm which is really great about it is it has an intrusion sensor and an inclination center so that intrusion center sensor <laughs> is if you lock the vehicle and you get out there's nobody else inside the vehicle it's going to alert and notice if there's anybody else that comes into that space into that, that open area so if you have the windows i think i think if the windows rolled down it doesn't activate this but with the windows rolled up have it locked if somebody breaks those windows and tries to unlock the vehicle it's going to go off and honk those horns and flash those lights uh also the in the inclination sensors means that if they try to jack up the front or the back to take your wheels it's going to alert them and, and alert as well for the vehicle so it's, it's kind of cool that that's actually standard equipment on all the bronco sports also the secure lock passive and a theft system so what that's going to do is that means that that coded key is the only one that can start that vehicle so when you shut the vehicle off it can't turn it back on unless that coded key is trying to turn the vehicle on whether it be a push button start or it be a key to, a keyed start uh, which we'll talk about here in a little bit what uh, bronco the big bench trim gets um, that's the way that'll work so there's all the mechanical and safety features i want to talk about but let's go ahead and, and get you a, a, a shot here of the exterior and let's talk about some of the exterior features all right, so now let's talk about the front of the vehicle first and kind of walk around. I usually, I've always done these videos with physical uh, vehicles, but right now with people wanting to get those orders in as soon as possible, I want to be able to give you this information. Uh, so I'm going to do these like I would do a normal walk around. We'll start at the front of the vehicle here. And uh, so this grill is, it looks a, a little bit different than last than the uh, than the base trim grill, as you can see there. It's a carbonized gray uh, grill here, uh, so it looks a little bit different. It does have the Bronco white lettering instead of the black lettering like the base trim does. Uh, oh, another thing on that windshield up there, you did get acoustic laminated windshield, which is like two pieces of glass with plastic in between. So that way that plastic will stop any wind noise when you're on the highway and such and make it quieter in the vehicle. Uh, front bumper is going to be uh, molded in. So when they say uh, it's black molded in, uh, what that means is they're going to take that color, that black color, and they're going to put it within the mold when they make it and build it. So that way it's not painted on of that um, on the bumpers, but instead it's kind of it gives it that color within it. So that way you don't have that plain steel color or or something like that. So it looks real sharp and it's more durable that way too. So all this front up here is going to be able to take the blunt of those rock chips and different things like that. Um, Moving on down, you do have active grill shutters. Can't really see it through here or see it in the image, but the grill shutters are going to open and shut when it needs to. Uh, going a little bit, you know, in town, that's going to open those up when you're going slower, allow for airflow in to keep that engine cooled off. And then it shuts it on the highway to let, allow for better aerodynamics since there's plenty of air coming underneath the vehicle. Uh, you do have configurable, configurable daytime running lights as well. So that means you can have those turned on for you during the daytime so that people can see you. A uh, very safe way to drive. And that you can have that turned on and off. It's not going to always be all time daytime running lights, but configurable uh, daytime running lights. Uh, you will have LED headlights up here. So LED uh, headlights there. And you'll have auto high beams as well. So auto high beams are going to, auto headlights as well for the, the rain, main headlights means that if you have an auto setting it's going to turn those headlights on when it gets dark shut them off when it gets light 
An auto high beams work similar to that in a sense that if it's really dark outside and nobody uh, approaching you, it's going to turn those high beams on. If a car approaches you or you're in the city lights, it's going to shut, the, shut those high beams off. Now, high beams is something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings. Uh, I think that's all on the front on the front of the vehicle I wanted to cover. Moving around to the side over here. Let's get a good side shot. There we go. Good side shot there. Enlarge that so you can see that real good. All right. So moving to the side, we do have 17-inch carbonized gray painted high gloss alloy wheel. So this is the same wheel as last year. So they didn't change the wheel design for the Big Ben trim. You'll get all season tires as standard equipment. You will also get tire pressure monitoring system for those uh, tires too. So if they go, you know, if they are off too much on one wheel, one tire versus the others, it alerts you and lets you know that. And you can always see the tire pressure on those, whether you use your app, which we'll talk about a little bit later, or even on your screen if you have that that screen uh, turned on. Four wheel disc brakes as well with uh, ABS analog braking system. And then remember we talked about that front bumper being that that molded in black material. Same material for the wheel lip moldings on the front as well as the rear wheel here. And also the lower rocker molding will be that same material. Also your door and making sure the door handles are also going to be that same material. Your mirror caps and your side roof rack rails. Uh, so those also be all that same material as well. So again, more durable. So you kind of see that belt line molding is going to be black as well, as well as your window molding up uh, and around on the outside there too. You'll notice here is going to be a black in your pillars, your ABC pillars uh, and such. And then you're going to have a body colored painted roof. So that gives, kind of gives it a floating roof style look to it. Um, and that's kind of real popular in this styling of the off-road vehicles. Uh, and so that's the kind of design they went with. And then you're going to have your Big Ben badging on the door there as well. Your mirrors will be a power heated mirror. So nice upgrade from the base to the to the Big Ben is you get the heated mirrors that go along with the power mirrors. And then that black mirror face. And then, um, or I mean the black mirror cap, I should say, which I already mentioned. And then you do have your Bliss, the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. And the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And also as you're backing up, it has what they call cross traffic alert. So if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to alert you. It uses those same sensors and puts a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from. It puts a message in the dash coming from the left or the right in a series of tones and it's not safe for you to back up. So I love how that all works uh, right there together. And this does have intelligent access. Uh, with the remote keyless entry with a hidden key and so that means that you don't have to get the key out of your pocket so you just put your hands in the door handle it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle press the ridges when you get out locks the vehicle you don't have to get the keys out of your pockets um and let's see what else we got here we uh, talked about the roof the roof rack rails privacy glass so when you go to the big bend you get the, the kind of the tinted glass in these back windows the quarter windows and the back glass and that's just a little bit cooler. So those those aren't tinted onto it. That's why we don't call it tinted. They call it privacy glass. So it's a darker glass that is put on it from the factory. So that's a nice upgrade there. Easy fuel capless fill door as well. So you just press that door right there and no cap to worry about. Leave them behind, get your hands dirty, anything like that. Just fill it up. It's a double door system. So it needs the exact same size nozzle that you get at the fuel, fuel pumps. That's why if you run out of gas and need to use a can, It'll be too small, it will not fit, so you'll need to get the funnel that's provided, usually in with the spare tire in the rear cargo area back there. And then you do have the child safety rear door locks. So what's great about this is if you're stopped, you have the vehicle shut off, you're not ready to get out, and the kids can't open the doors. So you can lock those out in the door jams there and kind of show you, uh, you can kind of be able to do that with your key. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and move to the back, back here. There we go. We got a good back shot there. So moving to the back, you do have, since it comes up, there you go, center high, center high mounted stoplight up here. So that's your brake light, third brake light as we like to call it. Back there, you do have the rear glass back here that has rear defrost and a rear wiper. Uh, so that's an upgrade. Uh, I did hear that they did used to have the on the back a the washer. I did find out, didn't know this before the base trim video, but I did find out that that is something that has uh, been changed for this year. You do not have the washer anymore uh, for back there to come down. So, um, and then this rear glass does pop separate from the lift gate itself. Both of them are manual adjustment. You're going to be able to have those controls right here on to the left or the right of the rear view camera, which is standard equipment on these. 
Uh, so manual lift gate and manual lift glass as well. LED tail lights, just like the LED headlights there. So much brighter and the LED some last so much longer as well. Uh, molded in black uh, bumpers, just like the front bumpers as well as the lower rocker molding, the wheel lip moldings, all that. Uh, more durable that way, like I've, I've mentioned before. And then I uh, don't really have any images I can show you right here, but hopefully I have some some uh, clips that I can show you. But when you do open up that lift gate, there is a bottle opener inside on this over there. So you can use that to be able to open those up, uh, open up a bottle if you need to. Also, you're going to have floodlights as well in there. So these two lights that are in the lift gate itself, you can there's a button on the side inside the cargo area. You turn that on. Turns the floodlights on, they are adjustable. And so it comes in real handy if you're on the campsite or something like that. And you're, you know, getting to get stuff out of the back, but also you're camping right outside the back of it. Uh, you're going to have those lights to help you out in the evening. So that's pretty cool. Uh, inside the rear cargo area, rubberized cargo flooring, uh, which is real nice. Uh, seat backs are still going to be carpeted, it looks like, on this. Um, you will have that latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. So on the back of the seats, you're going to see some little uh, hooks. Uh, that you could you'd hook those front facing car seats to so that way they can't come forward in an accident but also in between the seats where the seat cushion and seat back come together you're going to see harnesses to put those front or rear facing car seats in there so that way instead of using the shoulder harnesses they're going to be secured in there and they're not going to move so a lot of people are going to want to uh, make sure they have that you will have a mini spared wheel and tire a standard equipment here uh, we'll talk about i believe there's an option for an upgraded spare tire um, not on the base trim but i believe there is on the big bin here with a package we'll talk about a little bit later you will also have a rear cargo light that's on the i believe it's on the passenger side uh, you can turn that on the driver's side has a button that's where the floodlights are and the other side is going to be for your lights uh, so you will have a rear cargo light you also have a 12 volt power point back there too if you need to power something uh, back there cooler or something like that you can do that like ford has have some accessory coolers you can purchase and they would charge in that way and you do have some cargo tie downs carabiner hooks and loops as well on both the left and right two of them on each side of the cargo area so that's all of our exterior features but let's dive inside get you an image of the interior and we'll go from there Okay, now moving to the interior, we are going to use, I kind of clicked on the interior here so we can see the different interior up here. Oh, you know what? Before we get into that, let me go up to the exterior colors, and we'll talk about exterior colors and interior colors together. So for this year, they did take away the Velocity Blue. That is not available for this year, as well as that smoke, uh, or the Bronze Smoke is not available this year. They did take away those two colors. The others should be available, so going through those, you do have the... Uh, uh, Alto blue, uh, not showing that. Alto blue is a new color for this year. Uh, that is going to be available. You'll also have as a new color eruption green. So those are the two new colors, but we'll still have, um, of course, your shadow black will still be available this year, as well as the hot pepper red will be available. Um, let's see here, what else we got? Iconic silver as well. The Area 51 is available this year. Alto blue is available. That is the cost color you see there. Not sure if it'll stay the same cost or not. Uh, then you have the, I think that's uh, Carbonized Gray. Yep, Carbonized Gray is still available. Cactus Gray is still available for this year. Uh, the, sci let's see, Cyber Orange. Yep, Cyber Orange will be available this year. And your Oxford White. So uh, so you'll lose uh, two colors, gain two colors. So Eruption Green and Atlas Blue are new colors for this year. Now moving down to the inch here. Uh, new colors are uh, this year. You'll have ebony interior like you're seeing with this one here as an option for you to go with. Or you can go with the uh, medium uh, uh, the medium dark slate. So it's basically gray accents along with your black. So you can see still some black accents in there and on the doors, the dash. But then you're going to have some gray in your seats. So a little bit different look. And you'll notice the, uh, the liner as well will be kind of a grayish, light grayish color in there as well so a couple of different color options for you in fact we might go with that just because it lightens it up in a little bit inside for our, our as we talk about this now you will have let me go to this clip here you will have a dual stage airbag up here so driver and front passenger will have a dual stage airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle there's sensors underneath the seats and pretensioners for the seat belts so it knows how close you are and it actually helps, you know, if the, you're going to have an accident, it's going to, you know, lock that in so that that way you don't go forward. Uh, you have a driver knee airbag as well on the vehicle uh, for the, protect the, the driver's knees and such from a front collision. You have front, se front seat mounted side impact airbags. So if you have a side collision of that A or B pillar, 
it's going to go ahead and deploy that airbag from the side of that, that seat there to protect those front and the front uh, occupants from those, those collisions. Typically, in most accidents, intersection accidents, it usually happens in the A and B pillar. Uh, and then you have the safety canopy airbags as well with the rollover sensor that will deploy down from the, the roof line on the, over those, uh, those windows to protect from breaking glass coming into the vehicle in that rollover situation. Uh, carpeted flooring, front and rear carpet. You can't really see it in these images here. Uh, you also get uh, front carpeted mats with the Bronco Sport wording on those. And the seats. Let me see. I think this is a good shot. So on the seats, you will get unique cloth bucket seats with an easy, uh, easy to clean uh, material there. So upgrade from the base. So a little bit different seats, a little more durable uh, for wear and tear and such. Um, and getting in and out of if you're going, you know, off camping and that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's kind of giving you a different material there. For your seat, you will have a six-way manual driver's seat. So forward and back, up and down, and recline. The passenger seat will be a four-way manual uh, front passenger seat, forward and back, and recline. Second row seat, you can see 60-40 split bench seat means right about here that you're going to see uh, there is a crease there. So that backrest can fold down, uh, whether it be the 40% side on the passenger side or on the driver's side, the 60% side uh, that does that basically the left side as well as the middle seat lays that down so you can you know have a little extra cargo room if you need to uh, you also have a center uh, armrest so there, see that little loop right there pull that loop brings it down there's an armrest with two cup holders in it uh, so if there's nobody in the middle you can use the armrest put cup holders in there or different cups or beverages in those cup holders uh, also you do have a molly strap system so hopefully i have some clips of this uh, but you have a molly strap system on the back of those seats so you're going to have that i'm um, not sure i don't think they have the zipper pockets i think it's an upgrade uh, but i'll have the molly system on the back so you can use those for carabiner you know little things back there that you can uh, hook uh, different things to you also get rear console air vents on the back of those console as well as on the back of the console you'll get usb ports a type a and a type c for you and then i'm gonna go to this 360 view for the rest of this stuff to kind of show you you do get power windows and power locks uh, power windows you will have a one touch down feature for the driver's window all right come on computer <laughs> there we go so you do have power windows power locks are up here one touch for the driver's window uh, uh one touch down feature so that means to hard press it down the window will roll down without having to hold it the whole time um, but it's only on the driver's window and it's only going down going up you still have to hold it having that window go up power locks Manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel lever underneath there so that steering wheel can go up and down, forward and back. You also have the 4.2 inch productivity uh, panel or screen up here. So that's where you're going to see a lot of different informational uh, features on the vehicle. Still have a uh, speedometer, tachometer, as well as your speedometer and your gauges for your coolant and stuff down there as well. Uh, let's see what else. And then you will have the cruise control. So you see that cruise control on the steering wheel there, along with audio, audio controls, Bluetooth controls too, and controls for that 4.2 inch screen are right there on the steering wheel itself. Uh, you do get push button start. So this is actually showing a keyed start. <laughs> that is not correct. It is a push button start, which will be located right about there, right under the vent. So when you get in it, of course, you have intelligent access with the push button start. So that way you don't have to get the keys out to get in and out or to start the vehicle. Uh, you do have electronic automatic temperature control so it does kind of show you that so all one zone there but electronic control so you can keep it on a certain temperature if you want to and then you do have for stereo am fm stereo with six speakers you do get sirius xm satellite radio standard equipment on the big Ben trim you also see the sync 3 with an eight inch touchscreen. Uh, it does have uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well, standard equipment there, Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, it does have enha enhanced uh, voice recognition system and such as well by using the buttons on the steering wheel to be able to make and receive phone calls and such like that. So you can see audios on their phone. I think ones and apps and then your settings are in there uh, around that screen. That's where your backup camera is going to come into view as well right there. Up on the mirror is a day-night mirror, which means there's a little lever you just flip. So when you go to the night mode, flip that so that way those cars don't blind you with those lights uh, when they're coming behind you. You do have an overhead console with the, your interior lights right there. You can turn those on and off uh, or put it on the door, which is in, it's in the middle. And then you have a sunglass holder up here so you can tuck those sunglasses in there. So that way you don't get lost in your console and such. 
You do get, of course, visors for the driver and front passenger, and they actually come out. So if you want to swing them down to, to block the sun in the front, or if you have the sun coming out the side, you can rotate it and swing it in towards those, uh, those doors. Um, and then 12 volt power point down here, and we're going to talk about that. Media hub area, you get a power point down there like you would in a rear cargo area. You'll get a USB type A and type C uh, ports to be able to plug phones in. You can tuck that phone in there as well. Um, rotary dial shifter there. Uh, parking brake and electric hold buttons are these buttons right down there on the console. Now, actually, I'm going to show you an image, I think, from here. There you go. Train management system button is that goat modes that's right back behind those buttons there for the auto hold and your parking brake so that's where that's at in your console you will also get i believe you're getting a, a couple of more ports um usb ports in there but i'm not positive it's not in my notes here uh, but real nice little console to be able to put some things in and don't forget you will also get the ford pass connect great way for you to stay connected to your vehicle using the ford pass app so you can connect your app um, with your vehicle there and then you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere remote start your vehicle at any time using the app you can schedule remote uh, start times in the winter time so you, in case you forget so that way it starts every morning when you get out there for work uh, you can also see tire pressure information fuel information on the app uh, and all those kind of things and that's where you're going to see your ford pass reward points uh, located real easily uh, without having to go to your ford you know ford account on your phone or your computer so um Four pass connects pretty cool and how that all works so there you go that's all the standard equipment that i want to talk about let's talk about a couple different packages that are available now we're going to start talking about a couple packages that are available as you can see here i believe those are all the same package available plus there's a new package for this year we'll talk about we're going to start not do it in this order we're going to go to the copilot 360 assist plus package pretty popular package a lot of people like this package this is the package where you get that adaptive or the intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering and speed sign recognition so you can see all the features there uh, for this package so let me talk a little bit about what that means so adaptive cruise control means that you can set it up to where if you come up behind somebody um, it'll slow you to go slow you down to go their speed so you don't have to use your brakes and of course you don't rear in them also when you then are able to pass them it's going to speed you back up to go to your speed so that's really nice now an intelligent adaptive cruise control what that means is that it also allows you to be able to use the speed sign recognition system so uh, it al alerts you to that so if you set your cruise for let's say it's 70 miles an hour and you have your cruise set for 70 when you come along and the 65 mile an hour zone comes along and you don't pay attention to that song the system the uh, that sign the system will and slow you down to go 65 which is really cool lane centering as well means it keeps you in the center of your lane and then you do have your stop and go means that when you have that, that adaptive cruise set, if you come up to complete, you know, you're in rush hour traffic, it slows you down to go their speed and you even come to a complete stop, you will as well without having to hit your brake. And when they take off, you just hit your resume button and you're going to resume up to follow them until it's safe for you to go up to your speed, uh, which is really nice. Evasive steering assist means if you have to avoid and you maybe can't break and you know you can't stop in time and you need to avoid them, it's going to assist in the steering away and around that vehicle uh, so you don't have that accident. Also, you do have the voice activated navigation system with this too. So that way you can have the pencil zoom capabilities, uh, swipe capabilities and all that. It comes with the Sirius XM traffic and travel link that it says there. And that, that gives you the on-screen navigation uh, per se. So that's pretty cool. That's all included. And that's a lot of features there. If it stays at $8.95 as it was last year, that's a lot of infer a lot of features there that are available in this package. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the next package. That is a convenience package. So this package is another very, um, a lot of people really like this package. So what you're going to get, if I click on the eye here and kind of show you that. Now it is showing that push button start there. We, As I mentioned, I actually thought I messed up here because it does say in here that it gets intelligent access with push button start. That is actually included in the Big Ben trim. But what you do get on top of that is you're going to get the keyless entry keypad. So don't know if this is redundant information and this is just different from last year versus this year. Uh, but you do, uh, it does look like you should get that intelligent access as part of the Big Ben trim. Uh, so of course, if this is not true, we'll, we'll edit that and figure that all out also but you will get the keypad on the door so now you'll have that secure code passive uh or keypad on the door if you want to be able to lock the keys inside you can do that using that keypad uh, another thing you get down there you can see eight-way power driver seat so that allows you to adjust that forward and back up and down recline power lumbar as well you'll get heated front seats for the driver and front passenger have the heated seats 
Here's where you're also going to get LED fog lights to the vehicle. So if we click on this, I should be able to see what that's going to look like and add that to the vehicle. So LED fog lights, you also get the leather wrapped steering wheel too. You get wireless charging pad in there. So remember I mentioned where you can put that phone down in that, that area. Uh, that now would have the wireless charging pad in that area. So you can just put that phone down there and it's going to charge your phone wirelessly. Universal garage door opener is going to be on the, vi the driver's visor. So you can have three different transmitters up there. You can program to garage doors, gates, whatever has a transmitter. And then on those back pockets I mentioned uh, that you get the Molly strap system. Now you're going to get the zipper pockets that are located in the driver, the, the back seats of those uh, driver and front passenger seats. So they'll have a zipper at the top that you can stuff things down into there. And then you're also going to get the rear parking sensors to go along with your rear view camera. So uh, real nice and how that works. So you can see if that sh uh, since I added that, does it show me a fog light? There you go. LED fog lights, LED headlights, LED tail lights as well, along with that. So that's another very uh, popular package for you to have. Um, so just keep that in mind. So it's a good package if you want to add that one, along with the uh, other ones pretty popular too, the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. Uh, so there you go. Let's go ahead and talk about the next package. Now let's talk about another package, and that is your tow package. So this was available last year, again available this year. That's optional on the Big Ben trim. That you did not see this as a package available on the base trim, and that is the Class Two trailer tow package with trailer sway control. And so this is where you're going to get your hitch. You get your hitch receiver here, four pin wiring, and you get your trailer sway control. And it will also give you the full size spare on the Big Ben and Outer Banks trims. So nice upgrade here for you. So giving you, if you want that full size spare. The way to get that is by adding this package onto it. It is not available any other way. I don't believe I'm going to double check, but hey, nope. So the only way you can get that, that's the way it was last year, was getting it with this package. So pretty nice package. A lot of people add this. A uh, great way too, if you want to carry bikes and such and put a bike rack in the back or something else or want to pull a small trailer, you might want this hitch anyway. And then it gives you the full size spare. So there you go. That's a great package. Another option for you if you want to upgrade to that. So one that's, that's another package that is available for this year another package you can get for this year that is a late availability item it wasn't available last year and that is the black diamond off-road package so the big ben as well as the outer banks has this uh, this package available uh, that you can add and upgrade so um, what are you going to get on this so one of the things you're going to get is you're going to get skid plates to protect underneath so the assumption is is that you want to take this off-road they want to protect it underneath so it's giving you the underbody protection for this and this the underbody protection is the reason this is a late availability item because the other things are not uh, an issue right now so you're going to get the underbody protection skid plates as some people like to call those to protect you know your um your transmission your engine your fuel tank and everything underneath you will also get the 17 inch carbonized gray painted low gloss alloy wheel now this wheel here what's that look like if you go to the badlands edition over here um and you look on the badlands there's an optional wheel for the badlands that is the wheel you're going to get. So it is the same wheel you'd get as an optional wheel on the Badlands. Um, also contains, you get Continental All-Terrain Tire as well that goes along with that. Now, this package, uh, oh, and you also get a graphics package. Number one is what they're calling it. So we haven't seen this graphic package yet uh, for this. Uh, I've looked on, on the internet. So I just, I've been Googling it constantly. Cannot find the graphics package yet. So hopefully they'll show us some images of this. But being a late availability item, we may not see that for a little while. But it will get some sort of graphics on it as well. I'd assume either something on the hood or the side. Uh, it's a nice graphics package to add to this, which would be really cool as well. Getting those wheels. Now you do are, are required to get the tow package to get the off-road package. So you'll need to get the tow package with a full size spare uh, that's required. Um, but, and then this is the wheel that you're gonna get with it, tire, all-terrain tire. So you not, cannot get the optional wheel, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video. So now we're gonna talk about uh, standalone options uh, here and the basically you know they all come by they come by themselves so one option that you can add here and there now i will tell you this on ford's website that they do have these sectioned off into interior and exterior features here so we're going to go through those because um within that uh, those exterior features and interior features some of those are factory uh, options that are going to be the only way they can be put on your vehicle is at the factory and then there's a section that is sectioned out for accessories versus dealer installed options so the difference between those is some of these are accessories uh, they'll be put in the vehicle before the vehicle is shipped to you uh, at the factory whereas the other ones they'll actually ship the parts 
to the dealer and the dealer would install them, the dealer installed option. So I'm gonna show you the difference between those three as we go through these so you kind of know. Now the first one I'm talking about is an optional wheel. So there is this optional wheel here. I'm gonna mark these off my sheet to make sure I cover everything because there are a couple that are not on this from last year that are available this year. So here, this in here, is your 18 inch machine alloy wheel this is your optional wheel that's available for you uh, of course you cannot get this wheel if you do get that uh, black diamond off-road package so keep that in mind as well but there's an optional wheel that's available for you and that would be something you would want to make sure you order from the factory not as an accessory to be put on later uh, moving on down we do have the splash guards now splash guards are listed as an accessory here and so this is something that you know will be shipped with your vehicle and will be um, probably installed as well uh, on the vehicle or at least um, it's not a dio so it probably be put on the vehicle when it is shipped to you but it is an accessory you can always get afterwards and put on your vehicle and a lot of vehicles like on the know on the maverick last year splash guards held up a lot of orders so if i were you i'd probably not put this on your vehicle and have the dealer put it on or you can put it on yourself and order those through ford accessories website now the next one down is your couple different fender flare kits so let me talk about these fender flare kit number one and by the way this is a dealer installed option so that means that that would be shipped ahead of time and the dealer would put those on when the vehicle comes in so these are pocket style as you can see there that is a molded in look down there and uh, it says pre-assembled um, and non-paintable so it's going to look like that uh, basically and be put on now you cannot put this on with uh, any mud flaps or splash guard kits or the other fender flare kit so uh, but that dealer would install that when the vehicle comes in looks pretty cool if you want to put that on your vehicle you can order that uh, i would probably say it probably won't hold up your build um, and your dealer probably could do this but i think you could probably order that from the factory again the dealer would install that shouldn't be an issue there now the fender flare kit number two and they don't have the the right picture here and they haven't all of let this last year but it looks like it's the same fender flare it almost is so it's pre uh it's the pre or unassembled it says here and basically on this one here is the pocket style but it's paintable so in this case you can actually match up the paint so the dealer would of course paint it for you the color you want and then they would put that via that they put those on of course not available with your mud flaps splash guards too uh, so keep that in mind so that would that look real sharp and i wish they had the correct image for that just so you could see what that looks like the next one down is the liftgate privacy curtain and they're calling this a dealer installed option um, but really they're going to send it uh, you know to the dealership at a time the dealer would probably just put that in your vehicle because you wouldn't want that installed until you take it out camping and, and want to put it on yourself um, but they would probably put that in your vehicle when it came in must be in a big enough container that it's not something that they want to uh, put in the vehicle on upon shipping uh, for that reason so uh, next one down is your engine block heater now this is a factory uh, option that you would want to get at the factory so if you live in a cold weather state keep your vehicle outside you could get the engine block heater and that way you can plug it in and help start your vehicle in the winter time again if you're wanting to get that definitely want to order that from the factory if you're wanting it because it's not something you will be easily to be installed probably could probably some people out there that can do that for you but i would just get it at the dealer or from the factory and that does not hold up builds whatsoever all right now you have your roof rack rail crossbar and here i'm just going to add it to it and see if we can get some images uh, for you but those are the going in between those side rails you can see there the reason it says crossbar one is on the i believe in the outer banks and the badlands you have a crossbar two it's a different style but if you're wanting to add any kind of racks on there you're going to need these types of bars to it so if you get any aftermarket ones you'll want to get get these uh, added to your vehicle so and that is also i uh, believe that yep that's a dealer installed option so those would be shipped to the dealership ahead of time so that way you don't have that extra room up there for those shippers and actually uh, tear those or anything and the dealership would install those when it gets in your mud flap kits these also are dealer installed options too so click on one of these so you can see those so they would be again shipped to the dealership ahead of time the dealership would install those for you um, and so you can get those those are more of a rubberized uh, you know mud flap there for you and you can get in three different combinations you can get just the front just the rear or front and rear of course not compatible with each other because you would pick one of the three options for your vehicle so those are all your exterior options but there are a couple that are not on here uh, from last year that are new from this year one of them is a graphics package too so that's a different graphics package than what's on the black diamond uh, package don't know what that looks like um, but this is optional without getting 
the off-road kit or the off-road package. So you can actually add this graphic package. Now, graphic package one, you have to get the Black Diamond off-road package exclusive to that. You cannot get that graphics package, but graphics package two is available without getting the off-road package. And the other exterior option that you want to maybe think about getting, and that is the front license plate bracket. You're not seeing one here. It's not showing up as an optional equipment. It's because some states, it's standard equipment. So if you live in a state that requires a front tag, it's going to be put on your vehicle regardless, you know, because you're in one of those states. But Kansas is not one of those states, so if we want to add it to the vehicle, it's a standalone option. It's a no-charge option. The dealer would install it if you want it put on. Uh, but we order in a lot of our vehicles because we do a lot of out-of-state sales, and we don't know which states do require front and which ones don't. So we order it on them, and we ship them to the vehicle uh, with, with that way, so the customer can put them on if they want to. So those are all your exterior options there. Moving down to your interior options you do have the moonroof now this is a factory installed option so you would want that put on your vehicle if you're thinking you want a moonroof put that on your build that should not hold up your build whatsoever and that moonroof would be of course uh, shipped with that on there the cargo mats so cargo mats you can get a click image here so the cargo mat is uh, listed as an accessory so it will be put in the vehicle when it gets sent off from the factory and uh, then the dealer would it basically it comes in a plastic it basically put it in just like it is right now and they put it in a plastic wrap but that saves you and protects it now you will have the rubberized flooring uh don't forget that um so you'll have that already um but this mat would make it to where you can just pull that out clean it out instead of the other one uh that may be a little more difficult to get out so uh, that's pretty cool uh that's an option for you there moving on down you do have a couple different uh, assistance kits you have an on-road and an off-road so there's your on-road, and this is also something that would be sent. It's a dealer-installed option, but what that means is they ship it to the dealer, and the dealer's just going to put the kit in your car. So they might take everything out and put it in nicely into the bag, but they may just put the box or whatever into your vehicle and let you do that. And so there's what the on-road kit looks like. So a little bit different information. you got some jumper cables and some things like that uh, for if you're you know off the side of the road. Um, but you're on the road, you know, you're driving. But if you're off-road, you may want some other things like a shovel and like an inflator for your tire, a fire extinguisher, some things like that. So it's a little bit different kit. You'll see there's things that's part of the on-road kit. It's not included in this one and vice versa. So some people may want to get both of those. And then you have your first aid kit as well. Another dealer installed option that Ford would send it to the dealership and the dealership would put it in your vehicle when it gets there. Again, band-aids, gauze, that kind of stuff. First aid kit stuff, right? So there you go. And again, these are all can be purchased through Ford Accessories. Since it's nothing needs to be installed or a cost or anything like that, you can always get it later. And that way you don't have to cause it being held up or anything like that. Or a dealership forgetting to put it in your vehicle when it gets shipped to them instead of with the vehicle, right? And you have the inch here bike rack. So this is going to give you some positions to be able to put that bike in there and then put the front tire on there to allow you for an inch here bike rack if you want, instead of having one on the tow hitch if you didn't want to get a tow package. Uh, so this is an option for you. This is also a dealer installed option and the dealer would install those brackets probably in the back of your vehicle when the, when it comes into the dealer or allow you to do that for you and just put it in your vehicle. Uh, you can work that out with your dealer. Floor liners. Floor liners are an accessory. So you got two different options there. One without the mats, the carpeted mats, and one with the mats. So if you know you won't use the mats, like for me, um, you know, you can order the floor liners without those. And uh, so that way you don't have to worry about, you know, those carpeted mats and save yourself a little bit of money. As you can see, $40 cheaper without the mats. Cargo management system. So this is pretty cool. I've actually done a video on this. It is a shelf divider table and so the way that works is this is a it kind of folds in half and allows for a little table to be able to kind of section out your cargo area like that also you can then take it off make it a divider it slides right in between and then it divides your cargo uh that way forward and back instead of up and down and then you have it you can pull it back and make a table out of it now this is a, an option you would want to get from the factory and that's because the shelf itself may be something you can get but all what it attaches to the magnets and everything those are put into the cargo area 
from the factory. So you'd want to get this as a factory installed option if you thought maybe you wanted to get this. So just keep that in mind. Not probably something you want to get aftermarket. And then the rubberized seat backs. This is also something that it's saying it's uh, from the factory. Not sure if it's showing up on accessories information, but it's those seat backs back there to protect those rubberized. Those snap into place and they would come with the vehicle from the factory that way. And so I'd probably want to order those. Those shouldn't hold up your builds uh, whatsoever there. Uh, what else we have uh, we do have this 4g lt wi-fi hotspot that is a factory credit you get so right now what's going on is because of microchip issues uh, they're not giving you access to the wi-fi hotspot so what's that mean you're still going to have the capabilities you're using ford paths connect having that embedded modem and everything and you connect to that so you can remote start your vehicle and everything like that but what this does is allow your vehicle to be a wi-fi hotspot in a sense so if you have other people in your vehicle and maybe they're not don't they don't have unlimited data and they want to connect and be able to use internet and they can connect to your vehicle that allows them to be able to do that so you would not have access to that and they, they would give you a credit for that on your window sticker as well and then you have the center console vault now that is also that is an option that's uh, listed as a and a dio so dealer installed option so they will ship that ahead of time and the dealer would install that console vault so it does have a four digit combination so you can put things in there and, lo and lock things in there uh and that's just if you want to go camping something like that you want to put valuables in there maybe a gun safe that kind of thing uh then you could do that and know it's locked up and people can't get into that console if they even break the windows and that kind of thing to get into the console so that's something else you can add and that is a dealer installed option that the dealer would install when your vehicle got there think i've covered everything everything's check marked here for me so those are all your uh, standalone options you can get and hopefully you understand you know breaking it down between a dealer installed option an accessory and a factory installed options um so sometimes what i do is i kind of go through those for you so ones that you'd want to definitely get from the factory if you're thinking about getting them is the power moonroof that is the one you'd want to get uh, if you're uh, from the factory the optional 18 inch wheel that black ebony wheel the cargo management system those rubberized seat backs the engine block heater so those are things that you would definitely want to get from the factory and have it installed everything else can be put on the vehicle later and either the dealer would install them or their accessories that would basically just put in your vehicle but can also be ordered through ford dot accessory or accessories dot ford dot com so uh, those are all your options for you for the 23 model year of the big ben trim so there you have it that's all of our standard equipment your different packages available and your standalone options and hopefully this was very helpful for you give some information of what's included in the big ben trend for the 23 model year on the broncos sport and uh and feel free to move around use the timestamps down below to go back and re revisit anything you need to and uh, to see what's available now don't forget we do have a video on the base trim and we have videos coming soon on the outer banks and the badlands um, as we start recording these so check back or if you have those uh you're subscribed to the channel have the notifications turned on you'll get notified when those videos do become available as well so be looking for those videos too and if you did like this video don't don't forget to go ahead and smash that like button helps the video out lets people know it's a good video that they need to watch and that you're recommending it to them if they're looking to get information on the broncos sport so uh and don't forget uh you can get a vehicle you can order these right now from your local dealer so Find a good local dealer that's uh, willing to to do uh, honor the pricing your wants, not only now when you order it, but also when it comes in. Maybe they even hopefully know how to lock in those incentives for you and lock in you know, those special rates because right now there are some special rates on the Broncos board if you're watching this at the time of the, uh, the recording here. And also that they know how to honor any price protection, any price increases that might happen throughout the year while you're waiting to get your vehicle in. And then, you know, just keep that and all those things in mind when you're finding a good local dealer. If you're struggling to find a good local dealer, you'd like to work with us, we can help you out. We do have a free shipping deal with any of our YouTube viewers. So if you want to get the free shipping, we're very transparent about this. Uh, the way that works is if you finance a vehicle with us at those standard rates, then we will uh, ship it up to a thousand. We'll pay up to a thousand dollars of your shipping or travel costs. So some people just like to fly in. We'll pay for your flight in maybe even some uh, hotel night or some gas up to thousand dollars of the travel expenses to get your vehicle back home if you want to or if you want to uh, want to have it shipped to you we'll pay for the first thousand dollars of the shipping cost so very transparent about that we use the amount from the lender uh, by giving them the financing deal to pay for that so that's why when we say standard rates we can't cover it with any zero percent financing and that kind of thing because we wouldn't get any money to pay for that so that's kind of how that works so again uh, thanks for watching this video I do appreciate it and uh, if you want to watch some of our other content we all have the bronco sport information but we also have a live stream every tuesday night 7 p.m central 
right here on our YouTube channel where we cover, we do a live Q&A there. And we also go over a Ford news update and information, as I mentioned in the beginning. And we cover scheduling information. So if you do have one on order, you have a good idea by watching our videos if that Bronco Sport might get scheduled this week for you and that kind of thing by watching some of the content in our videos. So you might check those videos out as well uh, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And also don't forget, you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you want to follow me on my different social media sites, you can find that on my Linktree account. Uh, it has all the different places you can contact me and find me on social media as well as on you, the different YouTube videos that I do. Uh, and as, as well as our podcast that we do from our live streams too that you can find those there. So uh, check that out at your convenience if you want to follow me. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Till the next one. We'll see you later.